Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and I'm here to pronounce to you my life's greatest achievement, and that is ratioing good old Ellen DeGeneres. Now, Ellen DeGeneres is, I never expected to make another video on her again, but Ellen DeGeneres is just one of those gifts that keeps on giving. And this, this whole point leads into a bigger topic, which is why I really despise most modern day talk shows and television shows and mainstream media groups out there. I'm not trying to sound alternate to any of you or like, hey man, I was, I'm part of the cool kids now. No, I just genuinely don't get these people. Like, they seem really good goddamn out of touch and it just like anytime somebody has ever sent me any video or any media from anybody big it could be like Ellen DeGeneres or Jimmy Fallon or whatever I literally cannot watch it for the whole reason that it's just a complete cringe fest now Ellen DeGeneres god bless her is is for those of you who don't know she is in fact a comedian a talk show host and an ice road trucker and I'm not questioning Ellen DeGeneres's Euro truck simulator skills neither am I questioning her talk show host skills but I'm definitely questioning the fucking comedian skill because Ellen DeGeneres decided to tweet this fucking banger out, okay? Now, if you're looking at the screen, I advise you to look away. I'm going to put some saucy mirrors at footage. Because if you look at this tweet without fucking eye, eye protection, you might be blown away by the fucking unfunny. So get ready. 200 years in the future. Honey, have you seen my iPhone 378? I need it to pre-order my PS6. Now, I already like this tweet because it sort of makes me visualize like Brazzers, like cuckold vibes without the actual, you know, meaty part of the whole situation but let's just go over this scenario fucking scientifically okay because even if you look at it from the most objective fucking standpoint it's still far fucking funnier than whatever ellen posted over here 200 years in the future so remember 200 years in the future aliens have attacked us we have butt plugs in our assholes that are detecting all of our movements and sending it to our cosmic overlords right that that's a reality cyberpunk future i'd say honey have you seen my iphone 378 oh, motherfucker you expect expect Apple to be releasing phones like what three goddamn times a year to match pace Ellen I'm gonna fill you in baby Apple's probably gonna get big enough to stick microchips right into our fucking corneas and send your shitty tweets right to us baby you don't have to worry about the iPhone being a fucking smartphone it's gonna be the iPhone literally the fucking iPhone at some point you don't have to worry about it and you know what people will accept it because it's the cool thing to do and she's like, I needed to pre-order my PS6. Uh, yeah, if my PlayStation 5 has a lifespan of 200 fucking years, Ellen, you could actually have my fucking babies. That is goddamn impressive. I would hate to be a game developer making video games for something that's literally like... Like, if you relatively look at 200 years later, Ellen, that's almost the time it took for the United States to be fucking formed. I would hate to be a fucking game developer programmer then, dude. I couldn't program jack shit. Gaming would suck ass. Now, the reason why this tweet's so fucking hilarious is you know that Ellen DeGeneres has never fucking touched a PlayStation in her life, most likely. You know, I think when you put an Xbox Series X up to Ellen, she probably looks at that and thinks, oh shit, is that the Louis Vuitton branded fucking Amazon Alexa that I bought? I don't know. I, I just, I don't get it. I think Ellen would confuse a fucking PS5 with a, with a router at this point. I mean, most gamers do already. Ellen definitely would, dude. I think Ellen might just confuse it with a fucking smart fridge at this point. But I get it. I get the joke. She's trying to feel you know relative to her fan base she's getting there you know she she you know she understands the the youngins these days you know how do you do fellow kids what are you trying to get the the playstation 5 oh let me let me crank this banger tweet out i mean i get it you know I, i'm not gonna fault her for it you know she is a comedian after all she understands comedy more than anyone but i love this one the most because i actually ended up ratioing her amongst other people now if you don't know what a twitter ratio is it was actually once talked about during the days of the bible when judas had ratioed the fuck out of jesus's trust and respect but jesus being the all-around cool guy kind of didn't fucking care nowadays the ratio has devolved to the point where it's basically a, a smaller account getting proportionately more likes than a fucking actual host main account getting less likes for one tweet or whatever right now ellen on this banger got twenty three thousand fucking likes proving to the world that twitter is in fact the fucking shithole but then again there was your boy mudahar right here you should ask twitter to add a laugh track function so it can unmask so it can mask the unfunny which is true i wish twitter actually did ask the laugh track function because it would make twitter a much more funnier place than the denizen crap fest that it already is now I just want to say for the record, what makes this a ratio is Ellen has 79.4 million fucking followers, bro. She is, I bet those aren't fucking.
been modded at all, by the way. I'm just going to put it out right there. Uh, I bet those actually aren't. Those are completely healthy, legit followers. And then you've got, you know, your fucking fat little Indian, you know, ch boy here with 313,000. So, yeah, uh, luckily enough, this 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 made it into the fucking independent.co.uk. <laughs> oh, man. The only reason I know about it is because my boy Silent Rob sent it to me and my mom sent me this fucking stupid article. <laughs> oh, they fucking used my quote as a clickbait tweet, you fucking assholes. Uh, I love how they said fucking, it's safe to say the joke fell short with Twitter's gaming community. Internet celebrity. Oh, dude, that's good. That tickles my clunge. Ordinary gamers, Chris Raycon and Call Me Carson were among the thousands of users who mocked the chat show host. Uh, obviously, a lot of people have realized now that Ellen is not, in fact, a fucking nice person. In fact, Ellen is the furthest thing from a goddamn nice person. You know, if you had to if you had to put her on a scale of one to Canadian, uh, I think Ellen probably falls somewhere along the lines of fucking the uh, de de demonic fucking sec... I think if you had to quantify Ellen's niceness on a scale of one to Canadian, she probably fucking falls somewhere on top of a fucking politician and a lawyer co combined together to make a super demonic individual. I think that's where Ellen's niceness pretty much lies into. And she's got that fake nice aura that's completely fucking shattered at this point. And it's like, occasionally she'll come back to go, well, guys, let's talk about some funny stuff on the internet. Let's talk, let, let's, let, let's make a funny banger. The thing about a lot of these, like, main mainstream media hosts out there is that again like i said in the beginning they're so out of fucking touch that i just don't ever understand what the fuck they're doing in the sphere to goddamn begin with they they've been here since the fucking stone age and unfortunately the comedian the comedic talents of miss degeneres has never actually matched up properly i think this goes back to what i wanted to talk about initially which was the fact that these people are so goddamn unrelatable it's like they haven't realized that there's a whole new market of people out there a whole new gaggle of bundles of individuals that are out on the internet and these people have been stuck like i said ellen's been around since the fucking stone age dude okay like she's 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 seen the paleolithic era with her own fucking eyeballs like at this point you know it's time to it's time to hang in the towel sweetheart because goddamn these jokes don't bang like they used to anymore and if they bang they bang in the worst fucking ways possible i've seen senior citizen rooms with two two old potato sacks going at it bang harder than these jokes ellen i mean what the the fuck what happened maybe 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 she lost the writing staff i don't know maybe maybe she, maybe she's striking out on her own but it's uh it, it's <laughs> it's a pretty embarrassing day dude but yeah anyways I, I don't really i don't really care too much for it i'm gonna go back to minecraft ladies and gentlemen i just wanted to fill you in on what made my what made my uh you know jimmy tingle a little bit but that being said this is me with the r and i am <laughs>